Hi there. All right, so we are going to draw this object in AutoCAD and uh, introduce the circle command and a couple other things. So let's get going. And I'm just going to hit the little paper button up here to start a new drawing. Standard uh, ACAD um, template. All right, so let's go to our drawing aids down here. I want to turn the grid off. The snap is off. I want dynamic input on. And remember to uh, see this show up, you may have to come over here and turn that on. All right, so dynamic input is on. And I'm going to turn on ortho mode. And I'll show you what this does in a moment. And we'll turn on object snaps. Now, for right now, let me go to object snap settings. I'm going to click on clear all. And OK. Now, I'm doing that so that I can show you how that works. These are object snaps. You'll see this here in a moment. It's different from the snap, uh, snap mode. All right, so with those settings like that, we're going to do one other setup thing here. Uh, UN for units. So um, mine is set up for decimal inches as the default with precision of four zeros past the decimal point. So I'm going to change this to architectural. So now it re will recognize feet and inches. I want to change my precision to 30 seconds in this case um, because I have it. One of my values will be in 30 seconds. So architectural inches and OK. So now I can start drawing. All right. So I'm going to hit L for line and enter and just pick the first point. Now it's going straight out to the right, and that's because I have ortho mode on. It'll go straight out to the left, right, up, or down. I turn ortho mode off, and you can hit F8 to do that, and that goes off. Then it's not going to lock in at the vertical and horizontal directions. Hit F8 again, turn that back on. So now it does, it locks in exactly horizontal or vertical lines. So we can draw very precisely again. So I'll aim it out to the right. And my dynamic input's on, so I can see sort of the va initial value that it's giving me there. But I'm going to, this is I think called direct input. I'm actually going to type in a value. And we'll use 16 inches. So 16 by itself, and enter, or spacebar. And it gives me a 16 inch line exactly. I'll hit spacebar to end that command. I'll hit spacebar to restart the line command. Now I want to draw a line from the midpoint of this line exactly. So I need my object snaps. So down here you can click on a little drop down and you'll see midpoint and just check that it's it's active. So it'll look more like this for you. If you uh, have already gotten some of these, they're already on, it may look like this. I'm just checking the midpoint one right now. I'll turn on others as we need them. All right, so I'm going to click out here and get that fly out to go away. I'm still in the middle of my line command. So I hover over the middle and I get that little green triangle. If I stay there for a moment, it says that's the midpoint object snap. So I click there. So that's precisely on the midpoint. I'm aiming this down. And I'm going to put in, um, I put in 14 inches. Or I could do one foot two. That's one apostrophe two. And that's how you get it to see that you're trying to use feet. So one foot two point seven five. Enter and then I'm gonna use hand tool, press down on the scroll wheel. There we go. And enter to end the command, I get this T shape. So now I have some uh, construction lines to use. Because I want to draw circles at the endpoints. So C for circle. And spacebar. Alright, so specify center point of circle or I got options. So we're not going to worry about the options yet. So I'm just going to pick a center point. And I want the endpoint, so I need to turn that on. Object snap endpoint. Click out here to get the fly out to go away. Now, when I hover over the end of this line, I get that little green square. It's the end point. Now the size of this circle will be in 30 seconds. So two 
in like the minus or hyphen key, and then 17 forward slash 32. So that's how you would enter it in fractional format if you don't know the decimal equivalent, which I don't off the top of my head. Uh, so 2 hyphen 17 forward slash 32. That's how you enter fractions uh, in AutoCAD. All right, so I hit enter. And I realize when I do that, oh, that's too big. So let me do that again. I'll hit the space bar. Same center point. And I realized, oh, I did the radius. Okay, so specify radius of circle. That's the default. I wanted to do the diameter. So I'm going to hit D and enter, and that chooses the diameter option. So now I'm going to put in that value of 2 hyphen 17 forward slash 32 and enter. So now it's half the size, right? I'm going to select this larger one and hit delete. That's probably the fastest way to erase something in AutoCAD. Uh, let me hit Control Z. Control Z, that's undo. So you need to undo the last thing you did. I wanted to show you that you can use E for erase and enter. And you can select the object and enter. But that's just more keystrokes. Control Z. Take back up. I can just select, hit the delete key, and it's gone. So that's just a faster way to erase things. All right. So C and enter. I'll click here in this endpoint, and my previous value should still be in there. So I'll hit spacebar, and it's the same exact size. So spacebar to restart circle command. Click there. Spacebar keeps the same value. So I have three circles at the same size. Alright, now I don't need these two lines anymore. I can select those two and hit delete because I have my locations for my circles. I'm going to do some more circles. C, enter, and I want the center point of this circle. I'm going to zoom in a little with the scroll wheel and then hand. I want the center point, so let me turn that on. Center. If you don't immediately see the little circle or plus in the center here, you can hover over the edge and it should show up. And then you can click on it. The size for this one is going to be a radius 3.75 or 3 and 3 fourths. All right. And I can zoom out and hand up here. And now I can do the rest of those circles really quickly um, by just hitting C and choosing the base point and all of that fun stuff. But I can also do CO for copy. Select that larger circle, enter, choose the base point, which is the center. And then I can come over here, click that center, and it's still active. And I can come down here. And even though orthographic mode is on, I can still click this snap and it will put it there. So I hit enter to end that command. So now I have this. I want to sort of put some lines around this, give it a triangular shape. So L, enter. And I want to snap to the very top of the circle, quadrant of the circle. So I'm going to turn on my quadrant snap. Click out there to get that to go away. And then when I hover over the top, I see the little diamond shape. It's the same at all four points of this circle here. I just want top there to the top there, and then I'll hit the spacebar. Now if I want to draw a line, uh, I'll hit spacebar to restart, restart the line command, and I'll go from here to here, the quadrants, and the spacebar. Now that's not what I want. Um, I want a line that goes from tangent of this circle to the tangent of that circle. Tangent just means it's not crossing over and it's not outside of the circle, but it's right on the edge. So I'm going to hit select that and hit delete. So I want to snap to the tangent. All right, so let's turn that on. There's a tangent snap. L, enter. And now it still wants to snap to the quadrant. That's not what I want. I want to override that and force it to snap to the tangent of the circle. To do a snap override, you hold shift and right click. And you get this object snap override shortcut menu. Boy, that was a mouthful. Um, so here's tangent. And so when I click that, and I hover over this 
part, you see a circle with a line over it and three dots to the right. That's the, the tangent uh, snap. So I can click here. If you notice as I move it, it kind of adjusts its position. All right, and then I'll hold shift and right click, tangent, and then enter. Let's do that again. L, enter, shift, right click, tangent. Click there. Shift, right click, and tangent, and enter. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and trim something here. So TR, enter, enter. Here and here and there. Enter. All right, and uh, we're going to stop there. Oh, sorry, I've got something going off here. That'll be uh, that'll be it for that drawing. So we introduced a couple of new things there. I uh, hope this is helpful to you. If you want to continue on, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, I'll be doing a whole series of these. I've done a bunch of videos already. So uh, you can find your way back to this stuff by subscribing. And uh, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys. So uh, see you in the next video.